Hello again, Sausages. Now, if you don't know who Claudia Webb is, then she is a Member of Parliament here in the UK. She was a Labour MP, but now she is an Independent. And the reason she is no longer a Labour MP is because she has recently been convicted of harassment and she threatened her victim with having acid thrown in her face and said she would send naked pictures of the victim to her own daughters. And she also gave countless threatening phone calls and silence phone calls as well. And the reason she gave a quote for these phone calls is that was that she was afraid her victim would leave the house and break the plague lockdown rules. <laughs> so the judge obviously found that she wasn't telling the truth and said, In short, I find Miss Webb to be vague, incoherent and at times illogical. And ultimately, I find her to be untruthful. Now let's be honest here folks, all those points make Claudia Webb the perfect MP. But an MP she still is, shockingly, because she's refusing to stand down. Of course, there was nothing from the Labour frontbench or the Labour leader, Keir Starmer, about her behaviour. So they basically used a spokesperson to say, we want you out of the Labour Party, so stand down. So stand down she did, and now she's an independent. So she's still drawing that huge paycheck, that £85,000 a year paycheck from the uh, British Parliament every year. And that's shameful. She has no shame whatsoever. The same as another Labour MP crook, Fiona Onasanye. Now, she was given a three-month prison sentence not long ago for lying to police about taking her son's speeding points. And the icing on the cake with that one is, she was still an MP, so she went to Parliament on the day of the Article 50 Brexit vote while she wore a tag. And as we all know, that vote went her way, the way she voted. And that vote, just like the Welsh Plague Passport one, that was a very slim margin as well. So this is a problem with our parliament in Westminster, is that the system itself there doesn't come down hard enough on crooks like Fiona Onisanye and Claudia Webb. These people should be fired immediately because if it was you and I convicted of such things, we'd be out on our asses, folks. You know it, I know it. It's the truth. Now, although she's been found guilty of what she's done, she still hasn't been sentenced and is looking like she will have jail time. And I'm glad she should be in jail. People like Claudia Webb should be in jail for what they do. They should not be in Parliament drawing thousands of pounds worth of taxpayers' cash for doing fuck all. I mean, she was even backed by odious little toxic prick and communist bum Owen Jones back in 2018 when she ran for Parliament. And this is his tweet. Please second preference Claudia Webb, another inspiring, courageous campaigner for socialism <laughs> who needs to be in Parliament. Now, I agree with him on one point because Claudia Webb's disgusting behaviour mimics the violent, threatening behaviour of socialist dictators all around the world. So, sadly, Claudia Webb is still a Labour MP. I haven't seen any current Labour MPs come out on Twitter or online anywhere to condemn her, and that's really shameful. But the twist in this tale is that one person has stood by her. And I want to say thank you to a lot of people, but one person who has only been mentioned once tonight, but I think we should, because you probably noticed that uh, members of the Socialist Campaign Group disproportionately go through hell, high water and beyond at the hands of the media, the briefing machines and everything else. We've talked about Nadia, you've talked about Absana, you've talked about the way Diane has been treated. Can we just have a thought tonight in absolute solidarity with our great friend Claudia Webb for what she is going through? Brilliant comrade, brilliant anti racist campaigner and fighter all of her life. That's right, folks, the hairy communist cornflake Jeremy Corbyn. He is showing solidarity with a person who uses violence and threatening behaviour. Then again, this is a guy who's friends with terrorists. I mean, good God, I don't think this arsehole has any friends that are actually good people. And also, during her trial at Westminster Magistrates Court, she was given a character reference by Jeremy Corbyn, who described her as a warm-hearted person. <laughs> My God, you can't make this crap up, folks. You really can't. It really wouldn't surprise me if this communist scumbag would be secretly trying to get Carlos the Jackal out of jail and probably makes, I don't know, trips to France where he's being held, begging judges on his knees to say what a good person Carlos the Jackal is and he's great with kids. My God, Jeremy Corbyn is a scumbag. Claudia Webb is a scumbag. 
and the Labour Party are full of scumbags. And they're too busy online telling you how nasty and naughty the Tories are. Well, you look deeper into the Labour Party, and I can tell you what, they are far worse. They are truly the nasty party. And if you look up online, you will also see that there are countless Labour Party councillors currently suspended from their jobs for gross misconduct, corruption and sexual harassment. And these people want to run the country. <laughs> Not on my watch. So in conclusion, I believe that Claudia Webb should be stripped of her membership of Parliament and she should be in jail for a very, very long time and made an example of. And that's my opinion. So please let me know what you think in the comments. And if you'd like to support my channel, then by all means, you can buy me a beer because YouTube and Google have demonetized my channel, yet they still whack adverts on here so they can be the sole profiteers of my work. And I think that's wrong. So if you buy me a beer, the money goes straight to my PayPal and they don't see a penny of it, which is a good thing. And you're also supporting free speech. And that's it. That's my video. Please comment, share, subscribe. And until my next one, Roger Trout.